I come and I see the shop that you are saying is global. It is dirty. It is unkept. You wake up by 10 o'clock. You close by 2 o'clock for a flimsy reason of a runny stomach. And there's someone in your house. I come to buy something in your shop. It is closed. And yet you are there saying, Apostle, why is it? That God is not lifting me. I want to be like Walmart. I want to be like these guys. Go and see how people make use of the grace of God by engaging faith. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. I need to press this into your heart. I come and I see the shop that you are saying is global. It is dirty. It is unkept. You wake up by 10 o'clock. You close by 2 o'clock for a flimsy reason of a runny stomach. And there's someone in your house. I come to buy something in your shop. It is closed. And yet you are there saying, Apostle, why is it? That God is not lifting me. I want to be like Walmart. I want to be like these guys. Go and see how people make use of the grace of God by engaging faith. You have a healing meeting tomorrow. You are watching football in the night. I know God will do it. I'm not the healer. You will be disappointed and surprised by the next day. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm showing you what unbelievers do, even without the backing of grace, and what many believers do not do. The diligence component of faith is what we need to obtain grace to return back in. Go and sweep your one room as proof that you believe God will give you an estate. Go and dress it and make it look like the palace you are trusting God to get to. Are we together? You are a worshiper. Sit down and start writing songs. Don't say if God wants to give me, he will give me. There's something called inspiration. Put a worship song in your atmosphere. Sit with a biro and a paper expecting to write write it and ask a professional look at this song can i edit it they will remove a few unscriptural things there and begin to prime your creativity you're a man of god prepare sermons even if you don't have an invitation because you do not know when pharaoh will call you joseph the bible says to be instant in season and out of season is god speaking to someone go and train yourself build capacity someone will sit down and say let me give you five minutes tell us what you can do in five minutes and in five minutes you market yourself with diligence let me tell you when faith is at work it makes grace beautiful let me repeat it again when faith is at work it makes grace beautiful Bazanji kunya ba. This is how we were taught how to put the grace of God to work. So every time God speaks, He said, "My Father walketh; He that to I walk. My Father walketh; He that to I walk. My Father walketh; He that to I walk." Look at Jesus as our perfect model. Show me any point of laziness and laxity in the life of Jesus. That was the epitome who was full of grace and truth. Jesus would get up in the morning and pray. And the moment he was done praying, he would be on his way going. There are many men of God, respectfully speaking, who have not begun ministry in fact, but the sheer level of laziness. You preach one message for three hours, you sleep for two weeks to rest. What have you done? And yet you are trusting, oh God, let me be everywhere. Don't you think it will kill you? Will you be able to stand it? Esther, I know God told me one day I'll be sitting near Ahasuerus. With this version of you, you are joking. Go and look for Haggai, the man who transforms Hadassah, the village girl, to Esther, who is worthy of Ahasuerus. It was not the village girl. If she had stood before the king, he would even punish Haggai for bringing such a woman. Between prophecy and manifestation was one year 
of rubbing a kind of oil hey guy called her and said forget what the other women are doing i suspect you'll be the queen but not like this the king is not stupid there's something about his eyes let me walk on you and the king began to walk her guy began to walk i know the king i have access to the chamber i know what the king wants let me reproduce what the king wants in you and in esther chapter 2 and verse 17 the bible says when esther showed up before ahasuerus esther 2 17 it says and the king loved esther above all the women meaning there were others before her arrival but not when esther the prepared esther full of faith that's how grace works immediately the bible says her preparation made her to obtain grace is that in your bible and favor in the sight more than all the virgins there were others just like there are others before you show up oh there were others in abuja you are not here for competition but the truth is that faith gives visibility to grace faith gives visibility to grace there are people i came in and i saw so many people outside you're watching you are following me right now you left your homes some of you bent over backwards to be here in this conference did you know that your act of leaving your home sitting in the sun sitting in this place is an act of faith it is proof that you know god will not leave you the way you came how could you go back the way you came you have done your own part by coming i'm sure there is a man of god here who left everything to come and sit down to say apostle i know there is there is a kind of oil there is an anointing that i'm looking for maybe a music minister who has come here saying listen doors don't seem to be opening but if you just sat down there lazily and said well i know after all god can come and meet me in my room it doesn't work that way you have come so in the next five minutes as we pray that that grace will rest upon you now that you have activated it through faith ask any great man they remember where god took them from everywhere that i go everything that i do all i see is grace everywhere that i go Everything that I do, hey, all I see is I like, I like the Hausa version of that song. Have a mama You see, this grace, eh? In one day, when the grace of God is truly allowed to find expression. The grace of God can take the prayer request of a man's lifetime. I really mean it without exaggeration. And bring it to the faith of one who walks by faith. Not one who is just waiting for it to walk. There are testimonies that will not, it will not be wisdom to share some things here because it would destroy the goal of what we are doing. There are testimonies that motivate. There are testimonies that can discourage again if not managed. But believe me when I tell you, there is no limit to what the grace of God can do. When that grace meets faith at work, most of us have abused the grace of God because the faith component, faith there meaning your obedience, understanding the role you have to play in actualizing this. Anything you find in scripture, don't just say, I receive a loan. Go back and say, what is the role I have to play? Joseph, if God has told you that you will be a prime minister, behave yourself wisely. Conduct yourself well and take care of the wine presser and the baker in the prison because they will be the ladders who will speak to the king for you. Daniel, make sure you purpose in your heart not to defile yourself with the king's meat according to 1 verse 8, Daniel. Make sure you behave yourself wisely because you are going to be a ruler even through the dispensation of about four to six kings. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if you believe in the God of heaven then make sure you do not stand and compromise bowing down to that stature even if it will cost you your life 
time will fail me the bible says to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak the 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 chronicles of this man hebrews 11 is not just a faith chronicle it's a grace chronicle but the grace was manifested by those who walked by faith it says now faith is the substance of the things hoped for it calls it the evidence or the tangibility of the things not seen he said for by it the elders that means you are not qualified to be called an elder until you show us your good report every elder is not an elder just by age you must show us the exploits of faith i have translated the grace of god from this to this many years ago true story i was sitting near a soccer way and i saw a plane move i'd never entered a plane in my life before that time many many years ago and i looked at it and i just smiled i said my god many people are in that plane for many reasons others the leverage of their parents sacrifice others corruption others wickedness others are terrorists going to destroy other people many reasons and then i remember the lord spoke to me and said my word will put you in this yes. once upon a time in this very abuja i would be coming from zaria and i would come and arrive at a particular park and once i arrived there was a small restaurant close to it there i liked their food because it was very delicious and it was cheap I would enter there, smuggle myself into that restaurant. I can't even remember what I used to eat. I would just eat and then I would get up in the strength, you know, like Elijah went in the strength of what he ate and do my business in Abuja. And then one time, I think it was last year, we were graduating a school of ministry students and I needed to do a photo shoot with them. So they were hurriedly bringing me there. And as I was passing the same place, the restaurant has been, I think they've, remove the place or so and I looked at that place and I remember there was a bank facing it and I just nodded my head all I see is grace I see grace all I see is grace look there is no way you cannot go there is nothing you cannot handle when the grace of God is upon your life. I will tell you again, ladies and gentlemen, we are what we are by the grace of God, but that this grace was not showered upon us in vain in that we took advantage of the consciousness of the provisions that come by grace and we acted upon it in obedience by faith. So here's how the Bible puts it, by grace through faith. By grace, true faith. One more time. By grace, true faith. The assignment of grace is to give you access. The assignment of faith is to give you possession. You need access and possession to equal experience. It is access plus possession that equals experience. By grace, we are saved. By grace, we are healed. By grace, you have an enviable destiny. But faith now begins to show you the participatory role, the obedient response to the word of God, so that God would now make good his speakings concerning your life.